What is up everybody, Mr. Raviator here, bringing you another episode of Game Dev Tycoon. Last time we left off, the bank had us by the balls and they were trying to break us. But no one can break Aviator Games. Well, kind of. We're broke. But we're not broken, so ha! Let's do it. We're going to develop a, or create a custom engine. A lot of you guys want us to get to work on this. It's going to cost a lot of money. So we're going to try to do it in this episode. But we're going to need to earn some money. So we have to have some successful games come out. Or we have to work and find a publishing deal. So I think we're, we're going to try to find a publishing deal. Let's see this. Okay, so alternative history. We have not researched that yet. We don't have points to research it yet. Sci-fi, Wild West. Okay, uh, this is any topic casual. So let's accept this contract. Okay, so uh, everyone, the topic is casual. So it will be a uh, casual... Hmm, a casual... What what type of game is casual casual rhythm game? We we used to do these. We did these back in the past. Pick an engine, the lemon squeezy 1.0 is still going strong. This is casual hop hip hop hip. It's it's for old ladies. It teaches them how to dance. Okay, so let's see. Casual hop hip. We're gonna use text based graphics because that's that's groundbreaking. That's what people really want to see nowadays. A lot of you guys said I have too many employees. I could fire one guy and save some money, but I can't because you know this is. This is the, their only job. It's just after Christmas. I don't want to get rid of these guys. Okay, so let's focus on this. Uh, role player is now off the market. Role player, it sold 2 million units, generating 1.8 million in sales. So, role player was made for um, a, a company that we published that for a publisher, a publishing deal. That's what it was. That's what I was trying to think of. Okay, so market analysts, what's hot? New topics are hot in the moment. Um,. So we had a string of bad games, of horrible games, uh, but now we're actually doing a little bit better. So level design's important and dialogues are important. Uh, we're gonna make everything equally important not to strain Seth, because you guys pointed that out last episode that I was straining the crap out of Seth. <laughs> and I'm sorry about that if you guys took offense to me straining Seth. Um, he told me he didn't mind. He said he liked the workload, um, but you know, <laughs> I better slow down. Okay, so Seth is at 108%, he's at 108%. We're gonna lower world design. We're gonna focus a lot more on sound. It's a rhythm game, and there. So now I'm the one strained. Okay, wait. Let's let's equally strain everybody here. Let's let's. So let's strain him. World design's kind of important. There we go. So let's let's. We're almost done with casual hip, or casual hop hip, and uh, this is gonna be a smashing success, you guys. I already know. We're at negative 160,000. The bank's gonna ask us if we want a 10 million dollar loan, probably, and they're gonna try to pull us by the balls and bankrupt us in one month. Yep. Look at this. Here we go. Uh, $575,000, movie out of danger zone, but pay us a million dollars in a year's time. Oh, that's not bad. The bank actually gave us a pretty good bailout option. Now, we have one year, so it is month four. So we have till month four in the year of or year 13 of our company to uh, pay them back. So that shouldn't be bad. We should be able to do that. But it seems like once we get to the positive, the bank comes and takes all of our money. 86, a new record in game design. Or level design, so that's that's really nice. Here we go. Let's release the game. I got promoted. We can research video playback. So let's do some research because we're getting ready for that new engine. Um, hmm. What do we want to research? Video playback or advanced cutscenes? Let's do video playback, so people can record commentaries on their council. We cannot participate. Sorry to say, at uh, G3, just because we're so broke. The first reviews for hip hop came in. I didn't look at what the requirements were. But I'm sure they were less than eight. Hell yeah! Casual games work well on the game. Nine, great. Yeah, that's right. Eight, very enjoyable. Woo! We're back, baby. Eight, rhythm and casual is a great combination. We're back. We are back. <laughs> we are back on top. Nothing can stop us now, bitches. Uh, okay, so let's um, let's generate a game report. That seems like something that we should do. If I can click on this guy and he wants to generate a game report, that would be great. Uh, so we got 8.25 casual hip-hop. Let's see why that was so great. So we can get a couple more points, maybe research a new topic here. Uh, so the game's release is doing good. They're like, hey, we're going to do business with you again in the future. Uh, boss, our office could really use some... Ex we could invest and expand our office. We could renovate our office. Do we need that kind of renovation? Hell yeah, we do. A new office. We're millionaires. We're fucking millionaires. <laughs> no, we're not. Okay, so let's see. Now, we gotta just research a uh, new topic. Okay, so what do we wanna research? We could research a uh, dungeon role-playing game. We'll, we'll make a dungeon role-playing game after this is researched. But this uh, casual hop-hip 
is doing really good. We didn't go to G3, and a lot of people are sad that they couldn't see us there. No prizes. The G3 committee is pretty disappointed that we didn't show up. But they got to understand that we're on the verge of going bankrupt and paying them all that money. Just wasn't in our agenda. Okay, so our post analysts of the game. Artificial intelligence doesn't seem to be all that important. Okay, good. So now let's do a new topic with Seth here. We need one more topic. Let's do a sci-fi game here. But we're definitely going to make a dungeon roleplay game, RPG game here next. Because I feel like that's going to be successful. It's going to be a smash hit. And it's going to be something that brings us... We, we owe the bank $1 million in like 7 or 8... Or no, wait. What is it? No, in 9 months. So we have some, we have some time. So let's, let's actually create our custom engine now. So we want the 3D graphics. We, we're not going to pull any stops on this engine, you guys. This is going to have everything that we have researched... Which is a lot of things. We have been researching forever. And this is going to cost us a ton of money. This seems pretty dangerous, actually, to invest in right now at this moment. We actually need one more big hit game before we create this. So 680000 we'll have to keep that in mind. So let's develop a new game. The last hurrah for this engine. It is going to be um, genre topic RPG. And it is a dungeon roleplay game. Um, right? Right? Roleplay game? That seems about right. Okay, dungeon... Dungeon RPG. Uh, the platform is going to be the... Wow, that the PC still holds pretty good market share, so we're going to put it on the PC. We're going to use the Lemon Squeezy engine. And this is going to be called Dungeon Geddon. Get in. Get in. Get it? Dungeon, like Armageddon, but Dungeon Geddon? Okay, so Dungeon Geddon for, for everyone on the PC. Uh, Medium-sized game. It's, it's going to cost 165000 to start with. We're going to put 2D Graphics V2 on this baby, though, and see what we can come up with. He's got to go on vacation. Let's do it. He needs a short vacation. That's fine. Um, okay, so we're going to focus a lot on story and quests. Any roleplay game needs maximum focus on story and quests. And everything else can be focused on its least amount. Because you guys have been helping me in the comments. I've been loving it. Because I need some help with this game. I, I really want to beat it. And now that we're in this new office, this is the perfect place to beat it. <laughs> uh, they want to do an interview. Sure, sure. let's do this. What's your expectation regarding this game? So we're going to be modest. It's not going to get much hype, but hey, we don't want people to uh, have high expectations and then not like the game as much as we are hoping for them to like it. So look at how much casual hip-hop, or hop-hip, <laughs> hip-hop, hop-hip is selling. It's making us some money still. We even made a new game and we still have over a million dollars. Okay, now we can do multi-genre. Oh, I need that. Okay, so let's see. AI is, I'm guessing, pretty important along with level design. Um, so let's get that going. Bum, bum, bum. We gotta break a new design record for this, because this is an independent game. We're making this. We're not doing it for a publisher. So we need a hit here. We can't, we can't screw around anymore. We need a hit. So let's do this. There's a little hype here. We got some people hyped up about this. We have some fans here. 66,000 almost. Um, so we're gonna focus a lot less on sound in this game. World design is more important, especially in a roleplay game. So let's do that. A fantasy roleplay game, I'd say. Okay, so we got 60. We need like 85, I think, was that? To beat our record? Uh, two months until the Master V is taken off the market. Oh, we're going to break our design record. Who knows about technology? That could be close if we fix these bugs. We definitely broke our design record, and we're still crushing it. Come on, baby. Okay, so 95 and 29. We definitely need to beat technology, but design a new record in a medium-sized game here. Our first medium-sized game in a very long time, so this should be interesting to see how it does. Um, okay, so special training for Arn Johnson. A lot of you guys want me to train my employees. I just don't have the money and the funding to, to do all that training, so I definitely don't want to stick it into it. Okay, so let's see. Come on, tens. Oh, we need tens. Nine, one of the best. Hell yeah. Okay, come on. Nine, great game. Oh, this is great. This is great, you guys. We needed this. Nine, can't wait for the sequel. And a ten. Everyone loves it. Okay, you guys. So let's see why everyone loved it. 9.25 average. Let's select that. We're going to do some research here um, before we make our engine. So let's see. Because we're going to make it now and re release a sequel of this dungeon game on the engine. So we're going to want better cutscenes, but we can't do that yet. We can't do that yet. Oh no. So we have to wait till we do a little research here so we can get a couple more research points. Oh, they're releasing the PlayStation 2. Oh man. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so let's research. What do we need? What's the last thing that should be added? Oh, we need this. Multi-genre. We really need that. Let's make one more game with our old engine and then release a multi... Or do the research the multi-genre. And then we can go from there. So now we're worth over $2 million. We owe the bank a $1 million, so we got to keep that in mind. And that is coming up 
in four months now, so we can make one more game before that comes. Uh, so let's make a medium-sized game for everyone. We're gonna pick a platform. We're gonna stick with the PC. We had some success there. Uh, so let's first select the genre of game. What do we want to do? We haven't done strategy in like forever. Um, strategy works good with the PC. So let's make a a fantasy strategy game. That doesn't sound like a good combo. Let's make a uh, uh hmm. Well, what's a good strategy game? Let's think. Military strategy game. Here we go. A military strategy game for everyone is going to be called Army Support. You're supporting the army. Okay, so pick engine that's on the Lemon Squeezy 1.0. Okay, we're going to do the 2D graphics. We're going to spend $215,000 on creating this game. Um, dungeon is a great combination with RPG. Level design seems to be quite important, in which we focus on. Form Platform genre match is good. Good for the um, rating and great for topic audience match. Okay, so... Oh, Jesus. Report uh, self-publishing medium games will be more efficient if you have 100,000 fans. But, you know, we don't need to wait for 100,000 fans. We can keep producing these. Look, we're up for $3 million in worth now. The Bob Ravi game is fairly new to the gaming development industry, but we cannot wait for what they develop next. Okay, so Army Support, though, I think that's going to be a good game. So it is a strategy game. We're going to focus a lot less on strategy and quests, more on gameplay, and more on engine than the story and quests. So let's let's do this. Let's get a good start here, guys. Come on, everyone. Kick some ass. Take some names. Army support's got to be another nine. So we made th this two, well, two good games, or three good games if you count our publishing deals in a row. Reminder that you got to pay us $1,035,000 in three months' time. Don't worry, stupid bank. If this game's a success, hopefully this game can pay for it by itself. Uh, has authorized me to invest $2.5 million. Oh, wait. Dear uh, esteemed sir slash madam, I am a financial advisor to CEO of Wabamba Oil Limited in Nigeria. I'm wearing because I know of your high repu and trustworthiness. Our CEO has authorized me to invest 2.5 million into Aviator Games. My ass. Um. Oh God. We have deposited them out at a safe bank and will transfer the money to the bank. Uh, if you wish to receive the funds, you must transfer one-time verification payment. No. No. No, that's a scam. They just want $120,000 from us. That is a scam. Okay, so artificial intelligence, less important. Level design's much more important for this. This is gonna kill Seth. He's he's gonna be pissed off after this. So we're still ninth rank with Dungeon Geddon. That is crazy. After all those weeks, we're still making money on that game. Okay, so this game's not doing bad. We could break a record with this game. It'll be close. Our, our, our three employees, some people say they on this game they only have one employee, which is themselves. So we're gonna focus on everything about equal here um, we're gonna put Seth on this and me on this so that way it lowers Seth now Seth screw off I'm gonna put you on this <laughs> Seth's like no okay so let's focus a little less on gameplay no I gotta focus on gameplay Seth sorry sorry buddy you're gonna be burnt out after this okay so we're still 11th rank for dungeon get him god we might break half a million in sales with that uh, have fallen victim to Nigerian scammers. The scammers offer a sizable of upfront payment. Uh, okay, yeah, so that was a scam. Good thing we declined it. Uh, oh, we might break technology. We might break technology. Uh, we sold 367000 making $4 million, you guys, on that game. That game brought us back Dungeon Gin. We're definitely going to make a sequel as soon as our new engine is out. We broke design on this if we get a couple more design points. And we think I, I think we broke technology, too. Okay, let's see. It's going to come down to it. 97 and 33. 98 and 33. Is that two new records? Army support could be the greatest game of all time that we ever released. Let's see. Mini games. So we can research stuff now. We have enough. So we're going to make him research the multi-genre because I want to make multi-genre games. Okay, here it is. The reviews are in. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. 8. Very enjoyable. We'll take 8s and 9s for this game. Come on. Eight! Okay, loved it. That was close. Give us a nine. Give us a nine. Give us a nine. Eight. Very good. We'll take all eights across the board. Give us a nine. Let's get an 8.25 in here. Ten. And ten. Awesome. All games have been very generous to us. Okay, so that's a ten. So that, what does that do for us? My God. Generate game report. An 8.5 on army support, you guys. Uh, the, the bank has just deducted their money, but that didn't even hurt us. That hardly affected us. We still got 2.6 million dollars. Okay, so let's research a new topic since we're coming out with our new engine soon. Let's just get rid of alternate history. Okay, so right now, strong audience is E for everyone. 
But look at us crush these numbers, you guys. We are making money on this game. And we're over $4 million already. We made $2.8 million on the game already. It's just selling like hotcakes. Um, all games gave it a 10, saying awesome. If Avier Gaming continues to innovate like this, they might become a new fan favorite. Okay, so small booth we're going to get. We're not going to spend too much money. We're not going to get too crazy here. We'll go to G3 this time, though. Just because I'm a little excited now that we're having some successful games coming out. And let's focus on Wild West. And by the time I'm done with the game report and he's done with that, we can make our new engine. Because we have over $5 million. We're not in uh, risk of losing our money anytime soon. And this game is still in the top 10. So we'll still be making good money off of it. So there, we're all set and ready. We got the new topic researched. So let's develop a new engine. And we're gonna we're not going to pull any of the stops on this, you guys. We are going to put everything into this engine because the new consoles are coming out. The Xbox uh, and the PlayStation 2 and all that stuff is about to come out. So we really have to have everything ready for this so everyone can have a, a great time. So here it is. Let's create the custom engine. This is the Lemon Squeezy 2.0. Yeah, people are excited about this engine, man. This engine is going to be groundbreaking. So it's going to take us a little bit to create it. And here's our G3 with army support. Maybe we'll get a little buzz on army support. It's still in the top 10 after all these weeks. That's four. That's eight. That's nine weeks. Let's see how many people visit our booth here. We have 80,000 fans. It looks like we got 138,000 people that stopped by our booth, our small booth. Um, we didn't make top 100 booths, but that's fine. We only paid $80,000 for the booth. And look at this. We kind of still, we stayed number 10 in the game sales. That That's awesome. That's crazy. So that's that's doing good. We're at 5.2 million dollars in cash, and our our new engine is about halfway done being created. We got out of the hole, you guys. We clawed away from the bank. They had to give us one more loan, and they took double of what they gave us. But we took that loan, and we lived the American dream by taking a small bit of funding and turning it into a giant corporation. Well, it's not giant yet, but it could be, and that's just awesome. We're we're cool. Okay, so 500 thousand dollar engine. We just invested five hundred thousand dollars in an engine. Uh, okay, so it is complete. Um, we are going to make a sequel to one of our most popular games of all time. So let's develop a sequel, not to Army Support, but we're going to develop a sequel to Dungeon Geddon. Um, it was a nine point two five, one of our best games of all time. It's going to be a role play um, adventure game for dungeon. Uh, we're gonna pick the PC. It's holding market share like crazy, and we're gonna put it on the Lemon Squeezy 2.0. And people are going to be stoked about this. We're gonna spend a lot of money on this game. This is called Dungeon Get In Again. <laughs> Dungeon Get In Again. Um, okay, so this is E for everyone because that's a strong audience right now. We're gonna do the 2D V2 graphics. We could do the 3D graphics V1. But I'm guessing people are liking version 2 of these graphics more than the... Well, we're going to do 3D graphics. It's a little less expensive, but I think that's better. People rather see 3D animated graphics instead of 2D. Okay, so let's see. So we're going to focus on story and quests like crazy. Gameplay, obviously, and engine less. Okay, so now we're going to put branching story into this. People are going to love this. Multiplayer and video playback. It's going to get game tutorials and character progression. So now you can progress your character, you guys. We're going to spend a million dollars on this game easy. Because we want Dungeon Geddon again to be uh, the best game of the year. <laughs> and it's almost the end of the year, too, so this comes in great. So let's put magazines and demos out. We're trying to get the hype up a little bit. We're going to spend a little money on this game. We were worth about six million at one point. Yes, we have spent quite a bit of money here. <laughs> but hey, it's all about getting the hype up. We're going to definitely make dialogues a thing. Uh, level design is important, but artificial intelligence, I feel, is a little bit more important. Dialogue tree and Easter eggs are going to be added. Um, dialogues maybe not as important as artificial intelligence and level design being the most important. Okay, let's let's hit this up. Okay, so we're definitely going to break records, I think, in everything. This new engine is going to impress everybody. I'm hoping the credits give us a 10 and we get our first perfect game. That would be amazing. Okay, so we have one more thing to do. World design is important with graphics. Graphics are less important sound. Okay, so we're going to do the stereo soundtrack with also stereo sound and a day and night cycle. So the times of the days will change. I know we're all a little overboard and tired here, but it's going to be worth it. We are going to do a small commercial campaign, which is start a global campaign, magazine ads, demos, and interviews. It's going to cost us half a million dollars, but we're getting the hype of Dungeon Getting again up. So let's do this. 
We got a 62 hype right now and it's climbing. We broke records in design. We're breaking records in technology. This is our best game ever and our most hype ever. So I'm really hoping that this, this is a smash hit. Uh, okay, so there are no strong trends, but who cares? Okay, so there we go, 121 and 39. New records in both categories. Let's see, did anyone level up? No one did. Seth's gonna level up next game. We're gonna send uh, this guy, Aren't on vacation, and we're going to research some new topics. Um, so we're gonna research vocabulary. <laughs> I don't know why we'd make a vocabulary game. Come on, dungeon again. Ten, 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 ten. Awesome. Oh, can we keep tens? Can we keep tens? Ten, truly great. Come on, ten, 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 ten. 10! Everyone loves it! One more 10 and we get a perfect game, our first perfect game ever! 10! My new favorite! A perfect game, you guys! A perfect game! Look at this! Oh my god! That is going to sell! That is going to sell, hopefully, so much! We needed that! So let's put a mu- we're gonna develop a music topic genre. Cult status, start a new st or set a new standard for the early game development. Perfect game, release a game with a clean score of 10 of 10! Okay, so that is crazy. We sold 400,000 plus units in the first week. That is a company sales record. Oh my god, sell half a million copies of a game without the help of a publisher. We just did that. We just broke a sales record. We are ranked number one with Dungeon Get In again. Oh my god. And we even added the G to Get In because we were adding everything. Look at this. Now Seth needs to go on vacation. We're gonna enjoy this because look at we're millionaires! 12, 14.4 million! So 1 million copies of a game without the help of a publisher. We just did that! We just broke sales records again! Platinum status game! Can you hear a triple sequel? <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's develop more. We're gonna do racing. I'm gonna research. Um, hmm. Let's do some romance so we can make some romantic games. Okay, so... Wow. Dungeon Gin again, the newest game by Aviator Games, has caused a storm of good reviews and excited customers. Industry professionals say that Dungeon Gin again is one of the rare games that will set a new quality standard for future games. So, it seems that Aviator Games really has made gaming history with Dungeon Gin again. Well done. So, you guys, in this episode, we have made four games with an 8.25 rating or above. That is just pure ridiculousness, you guys. We are worth almost 20 million. We were worth 300,000 to start the episode. We're worth over we made 20 million dollars in this episode. We're worth 20 million 800,000 dollars. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I have. If you did, leave a like to support Aviator Games and Aviator Games, the company here. <laughs> and leave a comment down below what other great strategies you have, tips. You guys have really helped me out. And until next time, take it easy. Let's squeeze it.